Привет, блядь, we're gonna be playing today some more uh, killing uh, Flora Ruski. But yeah, anyway, gonna be playing today some more uh, killing uh, Flora too, and we're gonna be testing out the seal squeal, because apparently Potfunder didn't show it off, you know, as much as he should in the previous video, so that's why Ivan, aka Ruski Petfinder, is gonna hop in to some solo, and we're gonna be... I don't know, testing it out, I guess. So yeah, the reason I didn't play it all that much in that multiplayer match I did was because... I mean, I do have a feeling that this weapon is not all that viable for Hell on Earth. Just my opinion, you can have a different opinion, but... I mean, that's just the way I roll. I make up my own opinions and I stand by them. If I get proven otherwise, I'm gonna, you know, rethink. But yeah, as of right now, no one showed me, you know, evidence of, you know, that weapon being, like, viable as hell. In multiplayer, so I'm just gonna stick with my opinion, and I'm still gonna say that it's not all that great for multiplayer situations. I mean, I'm not gonna deny that the thing is, you know, like fun to use and shit like that, because it definitely is, but if you want to talk about, you know, the demolitionist and, you know, effectiveness of him, yeah, the seal squeal is not all that great. Oh, that's up, still, man, just coming from the other side. Easy clap. So if you've been following the channel for, I know, more than a month, you probably already know that the demo is one of my favorite perks to play because of how satisfying the thing actually is. Well then, Pegos, what are your actual plans? Get away from me. I mean, I just like these pigs, man. I mean, whoever thought of their, you know, models being pigs deserves a freaking raise. Okay, and the last dude to kill is gonna be our right here. Right in the kneecaps. So yeah, since I'm gonna be talking about the seal squeal and my opinion on it, I might as well talk a little bit about this freaking gorgeous ass map. So yeah, right off the bat, a lot of people have been saying that, you know, this map is not good because it's, you know, steampunk team. And I don't know what it is about people and disagreeing with the steampunk team if the whole update is, you know, steampunk based. But I mean, sure. But yeah, for me personally, this map is big, which is already a thumbs up. This map, you know, plays well. And it's not, like, ridiculously easy to complete. So yeah, I give this map a solid 8 out of 10. I mean, I would give it, like, a 10 out of 10 if this thing was, you know, like, a theme park and shit like that. You know, like an actual circus, such as Tragic Kingdom. But I mean, it's not, so therefore it's gonna get a solid 8, which is pretty freaking good also. So yeah, back to the topic of the seal squeal, and is this thing worth picking up? So yeah, as you're gonna be seeing right now, yeah, this thing, you know, it does a lot of damage, it, you know, pins heads to, you know, the ground, which is pretty freaking satisfying to watch, but I mean, in the long run, yeah, this thing is very freaking awkward to use. And you might be asking yourself, but what is so awkward on it to use, and I'm gonna say... It's pretty freaking slow, I mean, yeah, what do I mean about being slow? I mean, you have to, like, wait for it to, you know, cock back, and then you can just, you know, detonate it, which is... Kind of a little bit of a drawback. Oh, can I nuke? Oh, I can. Fantastic. But yeah, Killing Floor, it does have, like, some good weapons and some bad weapons, and this weapon is right in between. So yeah, I'm not gonna say it's either bad and good, because it's, you know, not either of those things. But, I mean, it definitely is satisfying to use, as you can see uh, right here. Nice. So, yeah, for me personally, this weapon does feel a little bit awkward because, you know, on how you have to use it to, you know, be viable with it. But, I mean, if you get used to it, yeah, it's not all that half bad. It is actually not that, oh my god, stupid ass robots, man. Just go away. So, yeah, the only thing I would actually change on this weapon is give it, like, two extra magazines and, you know, make the animation for cocking back a little bit faster, I guess. Because right now that's, like, the only drawback for me on this weapon and that's why I'm probably not gonna use it all that much. But, I mean, what can you do? Oh, Pego, rest in peace. It's just shot him in the leg. But, yeah, you do also have to keep in mind that I'm playing this shit on solo right now and on solo things are a little bit easier than on multiplayer. I mean, the main thing is you don't have ping on single player, and that's the best thing ever. And sometimes on multiplayer, yeah, projectiles just disappear for some reason. Well, I'm to fill everything and get myself an HX-25, because that is a good-ass alternative to have with the seal squeal. I mean, if you could have the seal squeal and the RPG, it would be, like, a little bit better, but as it currently is, you can't. I mean, let's face it, the RPG is, like, the best demo weapon, hands down, and if you disagree and somehow say that the Seeker 6 is better than the RPG, yeah, you're probably not even playing Killing Floor 2, to be completely fair and honest. Okay, there goes the spiders, and there is another one. 
Uh, very cool, and this is where the seal squill comes a little bit awkward, because on close range, it's not all that great, and that's why I have the HX. So yeah, the other thing I do want to mention is that the Demolitionist kind of like excels at killing big things. You know, both Skrakes and Flesh Bones if you do have the RPG. And you know, killing, you know, small groups of freaking Zeds, because you know, explosions and shit like that. And the Seal Squeal, it does do a fantastic job at, you know, killing, you know, groups of Zeds. But I mean, killing big things... I mean, it's not all that great, you know, you can do something special to the Skrakes like you can with the RPG. And I mean, you can still kill Flesh Bones, but you can't kill them, you know, fast. And that's why I do believe this weapon is not a, you know, worthy pick for me personally. And here we have a Pigo. Nice. And I even nuked him. Very cool. So yeah, this thing was also in Killing Floor 1, but the Killing Floor 1 thing had it a little bit better. And he's not even dead. I mean, what the hell is this man? It's just not like viable for big Zeds like at all. And the last dude is a freaking rat here. Easy. So yeah, in my opinion, this weapon is not either bad or either good, but it is in between. Well, let's just go and upgrade the seal squeal once. Maybe that's gonna do a little bit of a difference, but I highly doubt that. But yeah, you can't really go wrong with any demo weapon except the polarizer, because that thing is just why would you use that shit on the demo? Well, and now we have way four out of four, and flesh pounds are outside this door, which is gonna be a little bit bad for my health. But hopefully we can do something with the seal squeal, but I highly doubt that shit. Okay, can I nuke? With the door trap, actually does a nuke. Wait. Oh, I killed like two flesh bones. Well, that was just fantastic. Oh, and that's a trapper. But yeah, if like a group of flesh bones come at the seal squeal, yeah, you're probably not gonna do that well. To be completely honest, because this thing just excels at, you know, killing one big thing at a time. And even with that, it's kind of bad. Okay, cock it back. Easy nuke. Got him good. Well, then we got more flesh bones, and this is where this thing is not all that great. I mean, fair enough, there were like only quarter pounds on solo play, but if this was multiplayer, yeah, it would not be all that fantastic. But what did I get stuck on? The hell? So, yeah, my conclusions on this weapon is that if you want to, you know, carry your team on some multiplayer, yeah, this thing is not all that practical, but if you're just gonna be playing this shit for fun, then this weapon is. Pretty good, I guess. Yeah, the next video I'm gonna be doing is gonna be on the Homo Clobber, and that thing is pretty freaking decent at pretty much everything. I mean, except for the medic. I mean, why would you even use it on the medic, man? It's just not worth it. Well, then, Spooder, I don't know what the hell your priorities are, so I'm just gonna shoot you uh, right up. Oh, pukey. <laughs> Rest in pieces, man. Okay, we got more Figaro's. Didn't even die, so I'm just gonna like blow her up. There we go. Another one. Okay, let's just go and kill the stilt man and the other dude, and that is a Skrook. Just go and quickly do some of this. He's not even dead. Well, what do you mean? Okay, no, he's dead. He just got rolled over. Okay, I do like doing stuff like this, you know, just like going below them and just like pin them onto the ceiling. And, you know, killing other dudes in the meantime, that's kind of satisfying. But, I mean, it's just like I said, if you want to play this game for, you know, the hell of it, then this thing is pretty good. Yep, rest in pieces, husk. Will be missed. Well then, to the trader we go, and I guess I'm just gonna like autofill everything, fully upgrade this bad boy, and... Maybe C4, cause, you know, this thing got actually buffed, cause it no longer costs a lot of money. But, I mean, C4 was like, now we're like, actually viable. So I guess I'm gonna like, use it now, I guess. Abomination, please. Oh, it's gonna be the Patriarch, easy. Well then, Patriarch, let's see what you can actually do. Wait, where is he? Hope he's over here. And he's gonna do a useless ass machine gun. Wait, did I stuck that one on his foot? I think I did. And he missed. Okay, more C4. More useless ass machine gun, because that is apparently the hardest thing to avoid. Right? Am I right? Probably not. Okay, that's like all the C4. Now let's just go and shoot him with uh, this bad boy. Okay, that's like decent damage to him, not even gonna complain. But I mean, you do have to keep in mind, this is solo, and solo is piss easy regardless. Machine gun? No? Oh, there is his machine gun. But yeah, man, some people, they do say that this is the hardest boss to this day, and I don't know how. Okay, let's just go and like kill him with the C4. What's he dead? Oh, there he goes. Uh, rest in peace, Patriarch. Will be missed. 
hardest boss in the game, apparently. I mean, Jesus Christ. I still can't get over the fact that people think that, because his attacks are just, like, so easy to avoid. I don't know if they just don't even try to avoid the Patriarch's attacks. But, I mean, I just don't even know, man. So, yeah, this was my Seal Squeal opinion, and I'm just gonna say it again. It's fun to use. Not the most viable thing on multiplayer, but if your team is, like, good, it's still pretty good. But, I mean, if your team is bad, yeah, the RPG is gonna be your best bet, like, per usual. So, yeah, let's just go and put the shit into the vault, and let's see what we're gonna get. Nothing. So, yeah, this was pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did enjoy, then be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and see you guys next episode. Adios.